So my PSTV is looking a bit boring so I thought why not get a custom theme for it. So in this video I will show you guys the very best custom theme manager you can get for your PS Vita um, or PSTV of course. This lets you manage themes, this lets you browse the internet and install themes. Um, it's very very good. So if you guys would like to follow along I have made a video on this topic before but it, this, has, um, this app that I'm going to use has been updated to version 4 and it's had a lot of changes. So the new version is a bit different from the old one but if you'd like to install this and follow me the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and start up Vita Shell. of course you need custom firmware for this to work and what we're going to do we're going to press select and I'm going to run my FTP server now you can either connect it via USB connection either is fine but I'm going to go and connect this to my computer and I will show you guys the VPK file that we need to download Alright guys, so over on your computer, I will be sure to leave a link to the Custom Themes Manager webpage in the description of this video. And this is made by Red Squirrel, so I don't know if this is a guy or a team, uh, but it's made by Red Squirrel, whoever they are. Um, so if you guys would like to get it, you can read a bit about it here. It's got screenshots, it's got an installation guide, it's got all of this stuff on here and bugs and issues and stuff. But um, if you just want to get it and follow me, all you want to do is just click on the version 4.00 VPK download link right here. So just click on this and it will actually just download the VPK for you. So the last time I made a video on this, it wasn't version 4. It was probably maybe version 2 or something. It was quite old. Um, but what I'm going to do now is go to my downloads folder. And as you guys can see, the VPK file we need to install is called CT Manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up FileZilla. Um, as you can see, here it is. Now now I'm just going to connect to my PSTV. Of course we have to enter in the host, so mine is 192.168.1.79. Obviously yours will be completely different, but the port is always 1337 or leet. And now we're just going to click on quick connect, click on OK, and now we're connected. So we're just going to get our theme manager or CT manager VPK, and we're just going to put this, um, I'm going to put mine in my UXO, so you guys can put yours in there as well. We're just going to wait for that to copy across, and now we can go back and we can install the VPK file. Right guys, so once we're back, we can go ahead and press the circle on cancel. We can go down and we can press the X on the UXO. And now we can go and find our VPK. So here it is, CT Manager. What we're going to do, we're just going to press X a few times and we're just going to go ahead and install it. Um, so there you go, the VPK is now installing and we've just got to wait a few seconds and now we can just press circle a few times, close out of each shell of the home button and now we can go and start it up. So here it is, custom themes manager. Um, in the settings, make sure you have um, unknown homebrew enabled in Henkaku settings. If that's not enabled, then you won't be able to install VPKs. But obviously mine installed fine, so we're just going to go ahead and now start this up. Okay, so now we have got a few options. This one is apply an installed theme. So if you've got some themes installed, this will let you apply them. Next option is download a theme from the internet. So you must have a Wi-Fi connection for this to work. We've got install a custom theme from a folder. We've got uninstall a custom theme. We've got uh, catch and DB backups. Don't really need to use this one too much. Uh, we've got set default partition for use of custom themes. Again, we don't really have to worry with this one. Uh, check online repository. To, so basically, if you have a theme and you want it to be updated, and um, this will actually update the theme you've got. Sometimes developers are edit the icons and stuff, make them look a bit better. And then we've also got dump an official theme to the local folder. But the main one we need to use is download and install a new custom theme. So what we're going to do, we're going to press X to go ahead and load this up. Now, as I said, you must have an internet connection and it does take a few seconds to load each page and it loads six themes per page but the cool thing about this themes are always getting updated and what you can do um, you can actually just press right and left to actually load a new page so L1 or R1 if you're on the PS Vita and you can actually load new pages so we've got some pretty weird looking themes on here um, I did actually see one already that I really like the look of so um, we'll just have a look you can scroll through um, this one here, this looks very cool as well. There's a lot of really nice anime ones on here, so if you're a fan of anime, um, like films and stuff or games, then um, you probably will like this app. There's quite a lot on here. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm just going to go have a look. I'll find one that I like the look of.
So I think I'm going to go with this one. I don't know what this anime is, but it just looks cool. So what you want to do is find a theme you like, and you just want to press X on it. Now what it's going to do is come up with this download page. And um, on this part, what you want to do is just press cross again, cross or X, whatever you call it, I call it X. So just press on the cross, and now it's going to say connecting, please wait. You have to wait, and it's actually going to install the theme from the internet so it's just going to start downloading it now and once it's done downloading you can actually install it um, it's actually going to start extracting now on this page what you want to do is press start on your controller or on your PS Vita and once you press start you can actually just press any button like square or something and then we're going to be back at the main menu so you can press circle to go back now what you want to do is press X on apply and install theme. Now it's going to bring you over to the settings and from here we can select our theme. So I got this one. I'm not even going to pronounce that because I just, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but we're going to back out. Now we can press the home button. We can hold circle. And as you can see, our new theme is applied. Now the cool things with these themes is they do actually come with music. So this one has music playing. I don't know what song this is, it's probably like the um, anime's like, intro opening or something like that. But of course you can hold triangle and um, you can actually move your apps about just so you can get the theme looking the best just like that. And um, yeah, you guys get the idea. So that is how you install the best looking custom themes over on your PS Vita. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more PS Vita and PS TV content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.